the passion fruit, a vine grown native of the subtropical regions of South America. Passiflora edulis is believed to have originated in Paraguay, southern Brazil, and northern Argentina, though you can also find it in Australia, South Africa, and India. What's up everybody, I'm Andre, and this is Edible Knowledge, giving you the what's what of food from around the world. So the three basic types that you might find at your local market are yellow, purple, and red. They have a yellow jelly-like pulp with crunchy seeds seeds and a shiny skin that wrinkles as it ripens. Other species that have been cultivated include the banana passion fruit, giant passion fruit, and a subspecies of the yellow variety, the maracuya. People say that the taste is an aromatic blend of tangy, tart, and a little sweet. Brazil is the largest producer and consumer of both fresh and processed passion fruit. And get this, the fruit pulp is actually only one third of the fruit. The rest is rind, which people do use to extract pectin and linoleic acid. And while the average person might throw it away, Research has been done with yellow passion fruit to use the rind as food packaging film. And in just one cup of passion fruit, or 236 grams, you will find 229 calories, 5 grams of protein, 2 grams of fat, 25 grams of fiber, and 55 grams of carbs. But of course, that's not all. You will also find vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin C, calcium, potassium, magnesium, and iron. Passion fruit may improve insulin sensitivity, may help in boosting your immune system, supporting your heart health, and in reducing anxiety. And according to the website conserveenergyfuture.com, it may also be beneficial to expectant mothers. Due to the fact that passion fruits are loaded with antioxidants, fiber, vitamins, minerals, and other essential nutrients, many consider it to be one of the healthiest fruits to promote fetal growth and development. Ripe passion fruit will last for up to about two to three days in the fridge, or you can freeze the pulp in a freezer bag for up to three months. And that's all she wrote, folks. Have you tried passion fruit? And if you have, how do you use it? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.